Whoever wrote that article does not have a rook piercing. Hey guys, I'm Alex and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my rook piercing. I absolutely love, 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 love this piercing. I think it's super cool, super unique. Um, I don't have any other piercing besides my lobes, so I really wanted something different and I think it fits my personality perfectly. Um, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. So I'll start with the pain level. Pain level for me would be about five out of 10. It wasn't bad, it just kind of felt like a pinching feeling, like you could just feel the sharp needle going through it, like in a pinching way though, not like a stabbing way. <laughs> so I got my piercing in October of last year, so it's been about eight months now. I would say that it's pretty much a little more than halfway healed. Obviously sometimes it still hurts, but I would say that the pain comes more during the healing process than the actual piercing was. And this part of your ear is really thick. So that skin is really thick. So it depends on who you are, your pain levels, and how you can handle that. Mine hurt, like I said, but I think the healing process hurt even more. But anyway, all of this area of my ear would be kind of numb to the touch. It would hurt really badly. My one tip for healing is just don't sleep on your piercing. When I was like reading tips about, you know, how to care for it and if you should get a rug piercing, one article that I read what said that you can sleep on your rook piercing because it's inside your ear. Whoever wrote that article does not have a rook piercing. Yes, the piercing is inside of my ear. There's nothing on the back. It doesn't go through my ear. But if you're sleeping on a pillow, what's going to happen when you sleep on that pillow? Your ear is going to get smashed, meaning things are going to touch it and it's going to get irritated. So do not sleep on your ear. Just also the jewelry that I got, I went in knowing that I wanted this jewelry specifically. Um, I personally don't like the look of like the original bar with the circles. I don't really like those. Um, I thought this one was a little more um, girly, a little prettier um, for, my, for me. Um, so personally, I like this one better than the other one. Um, and luckily the place that I went had this. The only major concern I would say is I did have kind of like a, I don't know if I'd call it a swelling and I'll, I'll put a picture, but it's just like the area around the hole where the top of the piercing is was kind of swollen like a bump. And that did concern me because obviously I didn't want it to be irritated and I had to take it out and I was watching too many videos and I was getting paranoid. And so basically I learned that there is a difference between your piercing being irritated and your piercing being mad at you. So my piercing was mad at me and it's because I started sleeping on it. Listen, I was able to sleep on one side, you know, for a very long time, but after that sometimes it's like a neck thing, you know, and just a body thing. Like I need to flip over. And so sometimes I would like make my hand in like a V and try to put my my ear through it so it won't be touching anything. Um, and then sometimes I would literally just sleep on it, especially when it wasn't hurting. Um, at some points and when I wake up it hurt really bad and then there would be like that thing that you saw. So to deal with that when your piercing is mad at you all you have to do is go to um, your doctor or a clinic or something and they'll give you some type of whatever that they'll give you when you explain to them what's going on um, and so I used that and the next day um, my piercing was fine. Um, that little bump went down, the pain stops hurting so like I said, I can like touch my piercing, I can move it. I'm sorry, I feel like I should have been standing this close the whole time. But um, I can move it, I can, you know, obviously like during the day I don't touch it with my dirty fingers, but like I just said. <laughs> okay, so that whole time I feel like I was standing too far away. You guys can't even see the piercing. So here it is. I think it's super cute. So now I'll talk about how I clean my piercing. And I know there's also a lot of articles out there and different tips telling you what to use and what you shouldn't use. What I use is this. This was recommended to me by my piercer, Neil Med. You can get this at Walmart, at Walgreens, and I think at Target. Um, it's, very, it's very affordable. I think maybe, I'm not gonna guess because I don't know. I'll put a link somewhere. I think I get mine from Walmart and um, Walgreens if Walmart is out. And I also use Q-tips. Now, I know some people say don't use Q-tips, but there's a difference, so let me show you. Obviously, this Q-tip is way more 
like out of order like it's been through some things and it's like take the best i get i choose the best q-tip i'm just gonna spray this one here move my things out the way so sometimes this is hard but literally just do that shake it off a bit and i'm looking in a mirror here so under around And my ear has this weird little, like, under here flips open, and so I'll clean over there. And my piercing is pretty clean. I haven't cleaned it in two days, and it feels okay, and it's pretty good. Yeah, my Q-tip's pretty clean. If it's not, obviously I'm not gonna go back in with that same one and put the dirt back on my ear. And what I also like to do is, act, I like to first push this up and clean under here. And then, oh, you can see it's kind of so, as you can see, there's kind of a little, like, raised area, and so what I'll do, I'm just going to take my medicine later and put it on there, and tomorrow it'll be fine. And also make sure you clean the back of it, and then I'm going to push it down and hold this top part in place so that it won't move, and so I can clean the bar of this one. And that's pretty much all I do. So I hope this video was really helpful to you guys. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you want that rip piercing, don't think about it, get it.